Welcome back out in the open. I'm Rick Sanchez. Tonight, a follow-up on a story that I traveled to Nicaragua to bring you. This is about sex, it's about murder, and now international and political intrigue. It's an American citizen. He's sentenced to 30 years for murdering his beautiful Nicaraguan girlfriend. But just last week, a Nicaraguan appeals court overturns the conviction altogether, ordering his release. But he's still behind bars in a country with a revolutionary past and where many are, quote, anti Gringo, a word I heard again and again when I was there covering this story in Nicaragua. Listen to what Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice said about this case today. Whenever there's an American citizen involved, we uh, are very much uh, involved in um, following the case and in advocating on behalf of uh, American citizens. The court has spoken. We expect him to be released. All right, let me take you now back inside Nicaragua for more of Eric Vole's amazing story. Joining me now is Maggie Anthony. She's Eric's mom. Maggie, you and I spent a lot of time together talking about this in uh, Managua. Yeah. Here we are talking about this once again. You're there. You're trying to get your son free. First of all, how's he doing? I was able to spend some time with Eric today, and <clears throat> he's, he's doing well. I mean, he's, he's calm, but we're frightened. We're all frightened about this situation. This is just so inconceivable that this could happen that... We just don't know what's happening from minute to minute. So I think we're living in fear and hope and just all the confusing emotions you can imagine. Well, right here, now. Here, here's what's most confusing about this. It seems to us that if a court made a decision to overturn his original conviction, they essentially have ordered his release. Why would another judge then come in and say, no, we're not going to let him go? I'm confused. Are you? Uh, we are so confused. And I. That's why I'm here, because part of, part of the verdict was that he was supposed to be released immediately. And I came specifically to find out what's going on. I went to the Supreme Court. No one was available to speak to me. I went to the appellate court. No one was able to speak to me. Nobody from the government has spoken to me or will talk to me and tell me what's going on. There are no answers. Well, let, let me tell you what I found when I was down there trying to investigate this situation your son is in. Yeah. There are several prosecutors and at least one judge who were extremely antagonistic with any question that I referred to her to the point of hiding in her office and not talking to me and yes. in many occasions actually lying to me uh, about the case yes. and about some of the files in the case that she wouldn't <laughs> let us get our hands on. Uh, I know there's a right. very anti anti quote gringo sentiment as it was explained to me and very much an anti Eric Vols sentiment as that country. Do you think that's what's causing this? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There's, there's no doubt about it at this point. Again, in the media, he's still referred to as the gringo. There, there is definitely something going on here that's anti-Eric or anti-American or whatever, but definitely something is going on. And it's going on at a higher level. What do you mean by that? Well, the judge, Yvette Duruño, is deliberately not signing the release papers. She avoided Eric's attorney. She made the excuse that she got a flat tire. And then there was the excuse that the expediente, the case file, was numbered incorrectly. Then the excuse was that the expediente was stapled wrong. And because of that, she wouldn't sign the release papers. How can you make a decision like that unless you're being backed by someone or else you're being told by someone? Well, I mean, that, that's insane. I'll tell you, there seemed to be a, a Sandinista sentiment, almost a revolutionary anti-American sentiment, very much around this case. I think it may still be taking place to this day. That's why we're going to follow it. Obviously, the State Department is following it now as well, and we're going to be in touch with yes. you to see how it continues. Maggie, uh, our best to you. Thanks so much for taking time to talk to us. Thank you so much. It's good to talk to you again.